Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, from around the world, wherever you may be tuning in to Malt Moment. We are going to do a bourbon review today, specifically the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I had planned to do a whole slew of bourbon reviews in September, but then life got in the way, things got a little bit busy with a new job, school started up again for me, and I just sort of lost track. Also, I fell a little bit under the weather and I lost my speaking voice for about a week and a half, which for those of you who have heard my dulcet tones, you know what a loss that is to the world at large. But I'm back feeling much better. So for the next few reviews, I'm gonna go through and do the bourbons that I had originally planned to do all through September. Hope you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna do them now. It's probably the next maybe three or four reviews. I'll hit you up with some bourbons. But like I said, today is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This comes out uh, three times per year and it's a release from the Heaven Hill Bourbon Distillery. And it is a Kentucky distillery, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, says right on the label. And again, comes at you barrel proof. So the standard Elijah Craig is about 47% ABV. The barrel proof batches are all a little bit different ABV, but they're pulled straight from the barrel without being watered down. And this one is batch B519, and it comes at you at 61.1% ABV or 122.2 proof. Now, you can tell which release you got based on the batch number. So this is batch B519. So B indicates that it's the second release of the year. Uh, so the alpha code at the beginning of this, whether it's A, B, or C, tells you whether it's the first, second, or third release of the year. 519, I can't remember what the 5 stands for, but the 19 is the numbers of the year it was released, in this case, 2019. I, uh, I like this version a lot. This got some flack when it first came out for being too low ABV, 61.1%. 61.1% and it got flack for the ABV being too low. I, that to me is kind of silly and ridiculous. I actually really like this a lot. It's one of my favorite of the newer, modern Elijah Craig barrel proof batches. They used to come out in a dumpier sort of pirate style bottle. And there's definitely been sort of a change in the quality since then, but I still think this is an excellent bourbon. The specs on this are great. Again, barrel proof, non-chill filtered, no coloring added, and it is aged for 12 years. It's just on the side label here. I don't know if you can see it in the lens in the camera, but that is aged for 12 years. And it clearly states on the label, non-chill filtration and natural color. And that is the golden trifecta that we love in whiskey, especially for those of us who, you know, we're into this as our hobby. That's the kind of thing we'd like to see. So without further ado, let's dive into this bourbon. Mm. I should also mention I've had this open since I got it in 2019. And, you know, so it's been just over three years now that the bottle's been opened up and airing out. And getting really nice, I have to say. Elijah Craig, whether it's the standard expression or the barrel proof, is probably the most classic nose in bourbon and the most classic flavor profile in general. And it's one of the bourbons that I really like to have as a dessert after a meal or, you know, like on an odd weekend or something, if I'm craving something sweet to drink, but also want a little bit of a punch, I'll probably reach for this on the shelf. The flavors here, Again, it's like all the classic bourbon flavors, but just dialed up to 11. It's heavy vanilla and big, musty, like chewy oak, like just new oak. You're walking into like a, some kind of lumber yard that's just got like a vanilla honey facility for like a vanilla honey processing facility next door. Oh, it's delightful. You get a little bit of the cherry flavor, which I also get from a lot of Buffalo Trace expressions. There's a touch of cherry in here. And also much more of like this, what I describe as a peach cobbler or a peach syrup, or maybe like peach pie, like the filling in a peach pie with vanilla cream on top. Oh yeah. And that's why I tended to like the lower ABV on this a little bit more than any of the other Elijah Craig barrel proof batches, which get ridiculous. Some of those go above like 68, 69% ABV. The lower ABV here 
helps a little bit more of this sort of um, like stone fruit sweetness to come out, like a little bit more of that peach and a little bit more of that honey and cherry. And I don't really get those notes too much from other versions of Elijah Craig. If you hold your nose a little further back from the glass, you get a little bit of cocoa powder as well. It's really nice. This is a beautiful bourbon on the nose. And not a lot of ethanol. <laughs> there's a bit, don't get me wrong, there's a wave of alcohol coming out of here at 61.1%, but nowhere near as powerful and strong as you might think for a bourbon with the ABV being that high. It's actually very manageable. It's not too bad. And if you give this some time to air out after you pour it in the glass, it won't bother you too much at all. This has been sitting out for roughly 20 minutes. I find that's a, you know, a good amount of time for the initial heavy alcohol vapors to sort of dissipate and all the other aromas to start coming out. Yeah, really nice. Like I said, cherry, peach, peach syrup, Lots of honey, big vanilla, and big oak. Just like you're standing in a warehouse or just like they're storing old wood. Oh, really nice. Let's check out the palette. Mm. There's the alcohol. <laughs> mm. Mm. how it feels to chew five gum <laughs> this is what five gum wishes it could feel like to chew wow bold and powerful almost too strong i would actually like to take a little espresso spoon of water into this maybe just like half an espresso spoon of water temper it out even a little bit more but man flavorful and not too different from the nose the mouth is a little bit stronger cherry, a little bit stronger oak. Definitely you're getting that kind of uh, heavy tannic, not astringent oak wood flavor, but it's kind of getting there. A lot of spices and a little bit of that peach syrupy, like you just took a bite of a fresh peach maybe even on the back end, in the back of your throat. Not super buttery. There's actually, it's a distinct peach sensation. Like, I, I've got a horrible sweet tooth for anybody that knows me. If I have peaches, I'll make peach sundaes just on my own. I'll buy the ice cream and all the ingredients and stuff, and I'll chop up the peaches. This, the aftertaste, is distinct, like you've just eaten a fresh peach. It's got that exact same sensation. Really, really nice. I've adored this batch. It's gotten better and better as the bottle is airing out. I feel like once it gets past halfway, this is going to become exceptionally good. And we got to talk about value here. Now there's rumors that Heaven Hill is going to increase the price on this. Shame on Heaven Hill if that is true. Please, I'm begging you, Heaven Hill, there's one whiskey lover out here is asking you, do not raise the price of this product. At the very least, leave it to where it is or roughly within the range of where, of where it is. It is, you know, this is a relic of 10 years ago when you could get 12 year old barrel proof non-chill filtered bourbon for an extremely reasonable price i paid 51 dollars 94 for this at a costco in new york because yes you can get this at costco if you live in a state where costco is allowed to sell alcohol look in to see if they have elijah craig barrel proof because you can usually find it there for a great price it'll be somewhere between 50 usually it's between like 54 and 64 three sixty four dollars somewhere in that range excellent price considering the world that bourbon has become now i think it's one of the best value buys in the bourbon world you can get still to this day the elijah craig barrel proof and every time i see one it's a decent batch even if it's one i haven't had before i'll see if the seller or proprietor will let me have a sample a small sample and usually i end up getting one i've got about three or four of these now and the, every one of them has been very good to excellent in terms of a bourbon. I deeply, deeply enjoy this one. Only real complaint, the palate's a bit strong. The oak and the alcohol do hit you harder on the palate. You are going to have to water it down a bit, even at the low ABV of 61.1. But an excellent bourbon, and I highly, highly recommend it. Score-wise, 
a 10 point scale. Oh man, just because the value is so good and just because this is a batch that I particularly enjoy a little bit more, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, maybe even seven and a half out of 10. I don't normally like doing half marks, but yeah, we're breaking molds, we're doing new things. I'm gonna say seven and a half out of 10. And on a 100 point scale, I might, I'm going to say this is about an 88. If the alcohol wasn't so overpowering on the palate, if it was a little more tempered, as it probably would get with a splash of water, and I know this one does temper with a splash of water, then it could get up to like 89, bordering into 90, but solid 88, ec excellent bourbon. I, you always got to check this one out. It might be one of the last remaining good deals in bourbon from a large bourbon producer. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time on Mom Moment with another bird. So please stay tuned. Cheers. Thank you, everyone.